Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, hope you are where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushgrin. Today's video is all about the T22 Medium. Why? Because I just bought it in the auction, copped a sweet 15,000 gold, and ponied up for the pain. And there's not much pain with this tank. It's incredibly rugged, very, very good brawling medium tank. It's been around for quite some time, and was for quite some time really the OP medium of T10. Uh, lots and lots of Unicom platoons running this thing to great effect for their win rate and giggles. What we're going to do today is talk about it in general terms, a few specifics, but I'm going to show you two games uh, from today. The second one of which is probably the stupidest, craziest kind of game I've had in a while. It's so typical of the Blitz player base, and both of them feature things that are very, very typical of the Blitz player base. And you're going to love them. Uh, I promise you, you're going to love them. Because <laughs> they'll make you cry. And you'll love the fact that Bushka is experiencing the same bollocks that you, the humans, experience. So what's this gun all about? 0 0.308 dispersion on this is wonderful. A 3.5k DPM, which again is electric. Uh, mobility is very, very solid. But what it really, really does well is rugged, rugged, rugged brawling. Uh, great armor profile. You've got over 300 millimeters of pen to get through most of the areas on the turret. In fact, it's more or less the kind of turret that you used to get in the old days with the 62A. Uh, just super red, super hard to pen through. Uh, what it also has going for it is it's got a pike nose. And it's this weird thing where, sure, you can pen the pike nose if it's directly at you. But if you wiggle it a little bit, then one side you'll pen it for sure. And the other side will be an auto bounce. And that's, that's one of the great things about this tank. It, it does this weird thing where you end up getting bounces sometimes that you don't deserve just because the shot goes a little way, one way or the other. Um, 55 kilometers an hour top speed and insane terrain resistance at 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.2 mean it really, really floats. There's um, Chiron Dockstar in this game. Uh, g'day, buddy, if you're watching this. He's been on my friends list probably for about seven years. I got, I he's been around forever. Um, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of really old hands lately. There he is over there in the car. He is, unfortunately for him, uh, he's about to experience some of RN Jesus's finest work in just a short while. Uh, it's interesting for me with this tank in that despite all the power creep, it's never really lost what it had going for it in the first place. It still does exactly what was written on the box all those long, long days ago. Your shell velocity is about middle of the pack at 1,000 meters a second, and that's pretty good. It's not the crazy. I think it's 1,500 on a 60 or something else, but it delivers its payload in the same method. You've got 310 alpha, 240 millimeters of base pen, which you can max out to 300 with your, your heat rounds. You saw... Uh, our mate Cairo there on the left. Yeah, there's his ammo rack. Ta-ta, thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. So bear in mind, the red team has had an ammo rack tank. And there is a tank which you probably won't see for a bit. But he's in the back left corner AFK. So we're playing against five players right now. And we're still getting flogged. Like, <laughs> we're getting flogged. Uh, there he is. I uh, put one into him and then I realized, hey, that's an AFK tank. I may have to deal with him later, but you know what? The rest of the team looks like it's really struggling. We're uh, three tanks to one down, and one of their tanks isn't even in the game, and the other one got ammo racked, so I'm not really feeling it for these boys. We want to clear the C100. There's a 183 behind him. We start rolling around, and you can see this mobility I'm talking about. It moves very, very well. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, you know what? I should probably just go back the other way. Is he going to get there? Ooh, go, 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 Okay. No, no, everything perfect. Worked absolutely wonderfully well. I'm worried that he's waiting for me to go around that corner, so I'm going to let camo reset. Low to the ground as well. And you're going to see why that's important in just a short time. Four to three now. Uh, we've dragged him back. We've found the other two players on the team that can really roll. And that's this cap at Fort Despair. Obviously... Something I used to do all the time in the day was get in the cap at Fort Despair on the side and uh, just get right low. When you see that side shot, this tank has crazy side armor. 
It's got spaced armor, so you can reverse side scrape in this tank quite comfortably. Um, I've done it a lot. I don't actually do it in any of these games, but it's something that you can do. You've got to be very careful coming out here. You don't want to give the 183 your buttocks. It's not a good idea. We drop Adrenaline Rush here to try and get the last shot in, and it bounces. Ricochet. Yes, Ricochet. We're staying low, low, low. Uh, everyone's kind of stuck on the corner there. Um, big game from the ho re and the 60 TP. I know he's going to have a crack at my ass in just a second. I'm worried about it. I, there's not a lot I can do about it. There's only so much movement I can make. There we go. Thinking about it. Get a bounce there. Look at that armor profile. That's what we're talking about. I figure, you know what? We need to clear this 183. Let's just go for him. There's one. And we're going for the second shot again. And... Yeah, not going to get it. So, tight, tight times. We've got to get a tank cleared. There we go. Get it cleared. Low roll for the 60 TP. Couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. Beautiful on the move shot. And now we're off to the races. Now, they had an AFK tank that entire time. AFK, T10 heavy. Sitting in the corner. Doing nothing. It's kind of disconcerting. <laughs> but it's... What's, what's up? And... I know there's only two minutes left, and my thing is, sure, I might be able to clear those two tanks, but I've also got to clear the guy at the back, and he's full hit point, and we need to get all the way around there without being spotted so we can actually clear that guy and then come back and clear those guys because I don't want to have do all this work to clear two real tanks and then have a draw because the bloke at the back doesn't actually get spotted or killed in time. Yeah, we'll go for it. Go for it. Yeah, it was always going to be a super tough shot for him to get down low enough to hit. So here we go. AMX 5120. Tier 9 tank, sorry. My bad. And I'm going to keep uh, the big ass bit of building between me and the 60 TP and the 183. I can't believe some of the low rolls I get here. Here we go. Let's clear him. No, let, let's not. Let's just roll low for Jesus. Right, great. Okay, and there's a 60 TP. And the 183 is going to roll up soon. So we're going to stay low. The profile on this tank is one of the reasons why I enjoy driving it so much. Uh, I've driven it a lot on my press account. And that's why I ponied up the money to get it on my real life Bushka account. Um, it seems to get the most ridiculously rough matchmaking, which is a thing. Um, we switched to AP because I just don't trust the roll on the heat enough and I know I can reliably hit that lower glacis. No matter how thin it is there. This next game, you have to watch this game. Stick around for this next game. It's absolutely, absolutely crackers. I think we had three 5K games today in this tank and all of them were just first class, which is, real, you know, that's... Not a big surprise. These Russian mediums are super popular and they always take an awful lot of uh, bark to get up the pole. So here we go. This is the game. Uh, look at the spawn. Uh, the WZ is called the 704 noob and then he's just blocking him. He's just blocking him, stopping him from doing anything. The octopus is AFK. <laughs> There's three tanks in our spawn right now. Three. In a seven tank game. The 704 and the WZ are in spawn hanging out together. Just doing nothing. And this game is going to go down to the last 10 seconds. Okay. The octopus has woken up at the six minute odd mark and uh yeah the 704 and the wz is still making sweet sweet love in the spawn and the wz is talking bollocks i did report him after this because wasn't the 704's fault that um i don't know where that went by the way no idea it wasn't the 704's fault that uh the wz decided to be a complete grub but there you go the kpz is just suicidal you just drove forward t9 heavy in a t10 game I think the best thing you can possibly do is just uh, YOLO push because, I mean, the KPZ, it's a, it's a super low DPM tier 9 heavy, which is exactly what you want 
in this kind of a situation. Um, so we're a tank down. We've got one complete idiot at the back end of WZ who's still blocking the 704 and just talking stuff to him. I don't know what he's doing. And yeah, we got to muscle up. Their E100 is going to push hard forward here. Now, my whole point is we've got to win a flank. Like, if we're going to win this game, I've got to rely on those two guys to hold four tanks. I'll help them where I can. And I've got to rely on my 215B to not be aggressive. I just need him to stay alive for as long as possible so that I can farm some damage off him and possibly do some, you know, some good things over here. Because there are three tanks in front of us here. There's a Waffle. There's a TVP. And there is a Jaeger Roo. There's the Jaeger Roo. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. TVP for your fine use of camouflage. Uh, in some good news, it appears that the WZ and the Object 704 have resolved their differences. The WZ is just AFK sitting at the back. I don't know what he's doing. He's smoking some good stuff. And the 704 is sitting in spawn behind him. But they're no longer moving around and kissing each other, which is a massive plus as far as I'm concerned. I think the fact that we're able to even compete in this game is a testament to how good this tank is. Like, it's legitimately one of the best tanks you can get as a collector tank. If you ever get the opportunity to buy a tank or just have a tank, this is so up your alley. And if you're good and the 62A or the Object 140, if you can drive those tanks, you're going to make some real hay with this thing. Um, yeah, look, we're in trouble. There's no denying it. Uh... I know we're in trouble. This is always going to be a problem. I've got to get rid of this bloke. And I'm trying to get the Jaeger to make a whole lot of mobility movement, mobility decisions around that pillbox. And we're going to clear this TVP who, thank God, he's shooting into that side armor and it just doesn't work. The Chieftain clears the Waffle Tractor and I'm like, okay, it's 3v3. I don't know how much I love the rest of our team. The WZ is not actually doing much. He's just, oh, what a lovely on the move shot into the back of the E100. We've come out of that flank and we've come out even. Two tanks down to each, which is absolutely massive as far as I'm concerned. The 704 is alive over here, which is terrifying. The Mark 6 has gone down, but good on the Mark 6 for staying up as long as he did. Like that. That, uh, there was no way in the world that I thought this flank was going to hold as long as it did. And the 704 isn't going to make it. That's cool. A lot of chicken left on the bone. It's me V3. Uh, would have been nice to hit that one, but we're going to take our time and not stuff it up. Here we go. And now we're leaving because I'm expecting the Jaeger to turn up shortly. And there's the 121B. Just as we start circling around here. Oh, hello. The Jaeger must be screaming. I've missed him by inches twice now, and he's just like, ah. And what I need to be really aware of here is one minute, 57 seconds. I don't want to get stuck in a situation where it is a 2v1 in close. I don't have the hit points. One shot from the jaeger could ruin me. Uh, so I'm going to get real, real long on this. One of the things that people do which I think is a massive mistake, is when people run away, they chase. It doesn't matter what game you're playing. When people run away, people tend to chase. And look at this. this that's the same WZ that sat in spawn, hugging an object 704. He's just called me a noob. Ah, uh, look, I can't help him. You're going to see the cap start going. That's what I'm expecting. Okay? There's a 121B. This is all I wanted. Finding a 1v1 with the 121B. There's only a minute left. But here we go. Hit the adrenaline rush. I know where the Jaeger Roo is. That's all good. We've dropped adrenaline into him. I want to reset the camo. I'm very, very cognizant of the fact that there's 44 seconds left. How good is this tank, by the way? Like, it's such a cracker of a tank. Um... It's had some horrible matchmaking. This is like being game after game like this. I was really determined to give this one a shot. 
So what I'm thinking here is I just try and flank him and come from the opposite side and hopefully catch him on the turn, which we do. Got to track him. It's the track. We've got to track crit, though. How many repair parties has he got? Let's find out. And I'm just like, you know what? There's 17 seconds left. I'm just going to give him the side. Going to give him the side. And he rolls 735 into our side. But not 760, which would have killed us. And that's the win. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you report idiots like that. Another first class and a RAS uh, to go along with four kills. And um, yeah, stick around. Remember to subscribe and like the videos and there'll be a lot more coming. I'm Bushka. You're the human. Stay safe on the battlefield. And the next time, bye for now.